Here it comes. Oh, my goodness. Robbie with Golf Course Cuts here, and it's a beautiful, beautiful Monday. So, uh, today for me, a um, couple little things I need to take care of. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you see it. Um, yeah, my shirts, came, um, they came in and um, they turned out good. So, let me show you real quick how they look. Um, I tell you, hold on, let me get I'll try to get these shirts together. So excuse the camera situation. Um, yeah, they turned out real, real good. And there we go. They're dry wick shirts, which is what I love. Long sleeve. Um, a lot of people ask me. Uh, there we go. Golf course cuts. GCK, baby. Um, turned out nice. I actually like them. Um affordable affordable so what i ended up doing was um originally i was going to try and use uh some online companies um one company in particular which uh the shirts that i wore from the other company i was with um when i went to their uh their website they had a minimum which was six shirts and with the logo on the back and then the little one here on the front it was like over three hundred dollars and i was just like not doing that uh so i found another company and same scenario six shirt minimum and they priced out just over 200 and i'm just like ah yeah still not still not the number that i'm looking for uh so i got the dig got the digging and i actually found um a, a company on amazon um and you can get a set of four of these for literally 36 dollars. and i tell you they're comfortable um they're breathing good like there's a little bit of a breeze and i can already feel it um coming through so they breathe good um like i said the dry wick so that's good and so when the shirts came in uh earlier last week i had stopped by uh the little vendor shop um in the mall here where i live and i just stopped and asked the lady like hey if i brought my own shirts and um and i gave you my logo would you be able to you know put it on my shirt for me and she said yeah i could do it right on the spot so i said okay cool so got the shirts 36 dollars now and um I took them down, showed her the shirts, and I gave her the logo. I told her how I wanted it on the back. I wanted it nice and big and presentable, you know, legible, and like you know, you could see it. And then I want, you know, the little the little one up front. Hundred dollars, man. So four shirts, uh, logo on the front and the back. Hundred and thirty six dollars. Can't beat it. I'll be ordering more. Um, so yeah, that's how I got my shirts. I love them, and um, we gonna rock with them, man. So. A lot of people ask me, I got a lot of guys always asking me, man, aren't you hot out here with that black long sleeve shirt? Let me tell you something. Uh, from, from the military days, uh, I learned being over in the desert that the more skin you actually have covered up, it may seem like you're going to be hotter but it's actually keeping your skin a lot cooler sounds strange but it works i've actually had a couple guys already convert to long sleeve dry wick shirts and um they said they'll never go back to short sleeve or cotton or nothing like that they said it feels amazing so um just a little tip for you guys out there uh it does work the more skin you actually have covered you're actually protecting yourself from you know the 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 sun you know and, and all that crazy scientific stuff but um anyway so that's the shirts what i got else going on this trailer y'all this trailer i love this trailer i really do 
But I have one problem. And I was out here yesterday tinkering with it. And um, I have a little problem. So, four, four foot gate. Now from the camera and when you're just standing here looking, it looks like, you know, the angle is pretty good. Now, here's the problem. When you get like here, that angle, and then one thing that I never really paid attention to when I first got it was the hinge points. The hinge points are actually higher than this. Let me see if I can get it. See that? So what's happening is as I'm coming up or down, the deck or the spindles, depending on when and where I'm coming on the ramp, is catching. And that's irritating to me. Um, it's not so bad with the 60 because I can actually press the pedal in and get the deck up a little bit more and it'll clear that. So I'm not too much worried about the 60. 42 it catches and i've been sitting here for the last i don't know three or four days scratching my head trying to figure out how do i go about resolving this issue because the last thing i want to be dealing with is sitting here being hung up on the ramp when i got yards to cut so my first option i was thinking okay well what if we just take take the trailer to the well shop, have my man um, either break those wells, drop those mounts down, and then I should be all right. I was like, but then we have the issue of now the latches is not going to latch because the bar that it latches to is out of place, and then he got the break. So I was like, well, I don't want to do all of that. Um, and I was like, well, I'll just have him, you know, weld me about another two foot a ramp you know and then i'll extend it out therefore give me a more less of an angle attack but then like well that's more angle iron that's that's more money i'm not trying to spend that money so then i said okay well what if i were to change my receiver because right now i have a drop receiver as you can see i said well what if I just put a higher drop receiver? You know, and what that's going to do is that's going to kick the trailer back a little bit. And that should fix the problem. Well, the receiver is, what, 75, 80 bucks. And what I don't want to do is I really don't want it riding at an angle because I kind of want my tires to run ride even you know or wear even you know that's gonna be a lot of weight on that's putting more pressure on the back tires so i didn't want to do that um so then i was like okay well i seen a guy on youtube i can't re remember the name of his company but he has somebody's burning something okay um he has a um a jack but the cool thing about it is, it's like this little thing that you un unlatch it and the whole jack will drop to the ground. You tighten it and then you turn it. He said they're at track supply. So then I was like, okay, well, I could run and get that. And then every time I get out the car, all I got to do is just drop it, you know, run up the jack and then I'll be all right. But then I started thinking... When it's 95 degrees out here, who wants to sit there and do all of that? So I said, no, that's out of the question. So then I was like, well, what if I could, what if I could somehow make a, a pivot point in a sense on the, on the gate? So that way, as the mower is, you know, coming up, and once it crosses that pivot point, the back tires will then be lifted up, you know, so it'll it'll keep it and it give it enough clearance to cover, you know, to, to, to clear that um, that angle point. So I was out here and I was 
I was playing with some two by fours, as you can see, and I had them laid out and I was trying different positions and it just, it just wasn't working y'all. It just wasn't working. So I don't know what I got going on today. Um, it's, well, I mean, let me rephrase that. Um, I know what I got going on. I need to get that fixed or I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Um, Cause like I said, the 42 is merely for the yards that the 60 can't get in the backyard. The 60 pretty much runs most of my route from front to back, but I needed the 42 because I do have customers and I do plan on picking up other customers that that might require the 42 that the 60 can't do. So, um, I was thinking, what if I adjust the deck? Because here's the thing, like this thing has a lot, see all that extra play? If there was a way that when I brought that lever up, if there was a way that I can actually get that deck to sit higher during transport, that would solve my problem. So I'm thinking if, if I just adjust this deck as high as it can go, and I know it might throw off, you know, the, the height adjustment, so if I have it up as high as I can, it might not actually be three inches when I put it in three. You know, it might be three and a quarter or something like that. Most of my yards around here, we cut two, two and a half for the most part anyway. Um, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. So I don't know. Y'all let me know um, what y'all think I should do to resolve that. Oh, here's another one. It, it was another one that I was thinking too, but I'm trying to minimize extra steps. So I watched a lot of guys on YouTube and what they was suggesting is getting ramps, you know, to put under the gate. So the gate sits up higher, which has less of an angle. But this is my problem. I don't want to have to get out the truck, drop the gate, grab both of the ramps put them under and yeah i could mark the ramp so i know exactly where each ramp goes that's two more extra i the gate is already heavy first of all which i do plan on getting a gator lift system or some type of assist um to help me with that because this thing is heavy um but then also having to put those in and that that's a lot of extra time that's a lot of that's just too much that's too much i'm not doing that that's not my thing um, so I'm just trying to find something that's going to be effective um, So I can just drop the gate and go so y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think I should do uh, If all else fails I might just have to get the higher receiver and and ride Ride the trailer with You know the back end being down a little bit um I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I'm I'm very picky when it comes to my stuff, man. I just I just I just like my stuff to be how it's supposed to be. You know, I really don't like adding. I shouldn't have to add extra stuff, but hey, it is what it is. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video off. Um, I didn't expect it to be this long as always, but hey, it is what it is. It's your boy Robbie, Golf Course Cuts. We catch you on the next one.